I got the Tesla of bicycles. This is straight from the future, complete with OTA updates, mini games and tons of other smart features. It's fully carbon, is super light, it has a belt drive, so no service ever, literally like a Tesla. This is the new Utopia Carbon by the way and as you can tell by the length of this video, I went into the smallest details and this is only possible thanks to the sponsor of this video, the best VPN that I know of. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. And just like this bike, NordVPN is simply amazing. It's a software that you can install on your laptop, phone, PC, what have you, and it keeps you safe as you browse the internet. And this is how it works. You no longer browse the internet over your device and IP address. Instead, you use the NordVPN app to connect to one of their servers and browse the web from there. This has many, many benefits. It keeps your data safe, even on a public wireless network, as well as your location. What's more, using this app has the added benefit that you can choose your virtual location by yourself. Just choose and pick one of their more than 5,000 servers all over the world. This way you can not be tracked and your location is safe as well as your IP address. And thanks to this you can even unlock geo-blocked content. So if you ever encounter a video or a website that is blocked in your land, i.e. where you are, then you can just connect to a NordVPN server in a different country and access the website from there. And ta-da, it is unlocked for you. This is golden if you can't access all the content on Netflix or any other streaming service for that matter. You can unlock everything. It's huge. And what's also huge is our discount. So we have a special offer for viewers of this channel and by clicking our link you can get said huge discount. Check it out for yourself. It's all listed and linked in the description. NordVPN.com slash techmagnet. That's NordVPN.com slash techmagnet. Use the coupon code techmagnet to save tons of money. And by the way, NordVPN works on pretty much all platforms, Android, Windows, iOS, what have you. And with a dead set, shout out to the best VPN out there. And now let's get to the best e-bike. Got a new drip from New Utopia. This is the Utopia Carbon e-bike. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will listen link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So here we have the box, which is ginormous, but it's actually not that heavy. So you can rather easily carry it. Thankfully, otherwise this would be a very difficult <laughs> endeavor. So as you can see on the front, we have the brand. And then right here we have the bicycle right here. We have the shape. This is the tutorial on how to open it. So lay it on the ground and then lift up the cover. But before we do it, here we also have this side right here and it has carrying handles. Nice to have. Definitely a great box. Net weight is 15.7 kilograms and the gross weight is 27.5. Here we can also see the measurements, it's really big. And down here, on the other side, we have the same information basically. On the back side, we have this, we have this. As I said, this side on the ground. And we also get these tools right here pump, wrench, allen keys, and of course, I gotta wear a helmet. So, first of all, let's get rid of all the handy carrying straps. So, and now I'm ready for the unboxing, so let's do it. Should be easy. Yes, sir. No problem, and here we have it. So, this is what it looks like inside of the box. It is looking so awesome, I can't wait. So, as you can see, everything is secured in place with cable ties. Here we have the first wheel, also secured with cable ties. So, yeah, accessories right here, handlebars. So, yeah, let me remove all of that. So check it out inside the box. We have the paperwork and this envelope. Then we have the front wheel. Down here we have the battery and the paperwork of the battery. Also two pedals, two boxes with the pump and the charger and then the saddle. And then of course the frame. It came out of the box like this. So this is a one piece frame right here. And we will take a look, a close look at all of that in a second. But yeah, these are the contents of the box. And now let's get to the accessories. So here we have all the accessories. I will also include the saddle and the battery, even though they are not necessarily accessories. And also there is a pump, a charger, the two pedals and the paperwork. So let me start with the pedals. They are really nice looking and nice feeling pedals. This is not sharp metal. This is a, well, this is hard plastic. And I definitely like these more than the hard metal ones with the sharp edges when you 
slip off them, you will scrape up your shin so bad. And this is feeling quite good if you ask me. And yeah, we have the reflectors on the side, this on the front side. And yeah, looking solid. Oh yeah, and right here with the left and the right markings of course then we have the battery quite heavy big battery right here with the warnings and the specs quality controlled of course this is what the bottom looks like this side the top is smooth it's this matte a matte surface and the other side right here right here we have the connector six slots and also up here we have this also a button this is to check the the charge level three indicators blue yellow and red and red blinking i think so we are fully charged then here we have the saddle it's easier to take a look while it's not assembled so right here we have a an insertion gauge and this little strip right here if you can see it it has like sand in there because all the other surfaces are super slippy and this is to create some friction so this is not like dirt this is actually a feature to make it stick then on the back side we have the back light or lights actually because we have these two and the one in the middle and the best thing is you can connect it to the to the main system so this won't need a battery of that and then here we have the back of the saddle and you can adjust it with this screw right here and you can move it back or forward a bit and the saddle itself looks like this from the side i would say the softness is medium medium grade and that's the pattern on top and the branding looking pretty good yes great looking saddle next up let's open up this package of the pump all the other sides are just black so we will also get quite an amazing pump for free. Oh, it's a bit oily. So we have the branding right here. I definitely need to wipe it. And this is spring loaded, so you can just step on it and it will pop out. Pretty genius. Then right here we have the connector, dual connector for car tire valves and also for the regular bicycle ones with this locking system, love it. So the pump is amazing. And right here we have the gauge. Yeah, and I will be using this pump very soon. Oh yeah, and this is for the second foot to step on it, to hold it in place and also to store it. Genius, I love it. So the pump, and now let's check out the charger. There is also a separate user manual for the, for the brick. So first of all, we get the, the cable for the outlet. This is around one and a half meters. And then we also get a beautiful brick. Check it out with the branding on top. I love it. Usually the bricks are unbranded and you mix them up all the, well, I mix them up all the time. So from the side, this side for the connector. And on the bottom, we have all these infos and the specs, 42 volts and four amps, 160 watts, not bad. Yeah, and a nice LED indicator right here. Yeah, and lastly, let's check out all the manuals. So as I said, you will get one for the battery, uh, for, the, for the charging brick. So this is for the brick. Then this is for the battery, back side. So one and two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The rest is blank. And here we have the manual for the bike. Absolutely stunning. Love all the details. We have the back right here and the website, of course. Oh, it's so nice. Inspire passion, activate life. So this is just English. It's very detailed and very nice. Thick pages, I love it. And also there are tons of assembly tutorials, not only on the app, also on their website. So this is how to assemble it. It's very easy. Then how to install the front wheel, all of that good stuff. So it's very detailed, very nice, just very well made. Then also how to use it and safety tips, maintenance, battery, just a very well made manual right here absolutely amazing and lastly we get this surprise envelope right here or like this secret one so let's see what's inside oh check this out what's that okay so this is a letter from the ceo and this is a letter for the early backers so awesome nice i love it but what is this oh no way it's a fidget spinner it is a fidget spinner. Can you believe it? Oh, it's it's really nice. Oh my goodness, this is a really nice fidget spinner. Oh my God, that is dope. That is so cool. But wait, there is more. On the frame, 
we have this bag and inside here are the tools. So that's the back side right here. So this is definitely counts as an accessory in my books. So let's check it out as well. Absolutely amazing bag right here. And on the back, we have the zipper and inside here, inside here there, there is a little net and this is like a hard case. First of all, that's definitely needed for the front wheel. We have the quick release and the quick release hubs. Yeah, and with this you can attach and detach the front wheel in a matter of seconds. Then we also got three of these hex keys and also a 15 millimeter wrench. And all of this is branded, it is so nice. I can't believe it. Then we also get a set of screws and lastly, a set of keys. So here we go. So now we are ready for the assembly. So let's start with the front wheel. Should be easy while it's light. That is super light. <laughs> This needs to be removed. So this was in between the brakes, the caliper. So next we will need the quick release, of course. So easy as that. I will do the fine tuning later. Now let's go for the pedals. And for this, we will need the wrench. So let's connect and insert the saddle. 4 mm hex key and now all that's left is to insert the battery so let's do it <laughs> it is so light i love it and there we have it that took me five minutes awesome and now let's test the pump three to six bars all right so these are car tire valves So that's four and a half bars, right in the middle basically. Yeah, feeling good to me. So one more to go. All right, closer to five on this one. Pump is awesome. And there we go. Done with the unboxing and the setup. And now let's get to my first impressions and then to a close overview. I just pressed this button just for fun and now check this out. Please use our app to activate the bike. How cool is that? So yeah, absolute premium experience right from the get-go. This is by far the best and coolest e-bike that I've ever reviewed. So far, I have not seen a single generic part. Well, except like the reflectors and like, yeah. But this, this is just amazing. <laughs> and it's so light. It is, it is so light, you won't believe it. Okay, so let's go for a close overview. So let's start with the left side. So down here on the wheels, we have the brand, the valve, then up here we have the brake disc and like all the brake system too, looks pretty epic. Then we have the fork, one reflector right here, of course, and the braking cable goes inside of the fork and comes out right here. Awesome cable management. Then right here we have the frame with the brand and the battery in here. Then we have the drive unit. We'll take a closer look from the other side, the pedal. Here we can see the teeth from the belt. I love belt systems. Then the upper frame has this cool curve right here. Three screws right here and the screw for the saddle right here. Yeah, we already took a look at the saddle. And then back here we have the back wheel same brake system as on the front wheel same disc and also the cable management it goes right here into the frame and then all the way to the steering bar also right here we have two holes for a kickstand and that's missing right here definitely need to get myself one and the back wheel is similar to the front wheel on the right side on the back wheel we can see the gear looking absolutely amazing love it then this is for adjusting the tension of the belt. Yeah, and the belt is right here. Right here it says carbon drive CDX, the second pedal. Then up here, of course, the frame. And here we can see the other braking cable enter the frame and leaving it right here for the back brake. And for the front brake, it comes out right here. Then on this side, we have the lock for the battery. For this, we will need the key. So insert it, turn it, it will pop out. And this way you can remove the battery 
and of course you can't do it without the key and the front wheel of course and now all that's missing is the steering bar oh by the way if you're wondering this is the profile of the tires yeah and on the left side of the steering bar we have the front brake nice rubber grip right here nice and soft then we have this navigation joystick right here if we press it please use our app to activate the bike then it will talk to us and on the other side we have the back brake and this is the fingerprint sensor and also a button please use our app to activate the bike and in the center we have a big display so let's remove this giving us a qr code by the way the speaker is down here and here we have this amazing looking front light right here so let's go for the fine tuning as you can hear the brake is rubbing a bit but this is actually very easy to fix i found the tutorial on how to set it up and you just need to loosen these two screws and then it will wiggle around just a bit and then you can precisely set it up so let's go for it so it's loose okay a bit more and then they said just press it just press the brake and then screw it tight and now okay almost perfect so in my case the front disc wasn't perfectly straight so wherever it rubbed i just spun it around and then i just bent it a bit and now it's actually almost perfect So like right there and just a bit, just a bit. And now check this out, not a single noise and uh, it's very tight. So there is not a lot of room for error, but yeah, perfect. Yeah, now a little test. Very well. Same for the back tire. Alright, so this is actually really easy to adjust. I love it. And now... And the tool bag, of course. With a Velcro. There we go. So when we type in new Utopia, there will be only one choice, by the way, publisher is new Utopia LTD, only one app, you can't go wrong. Let's install it. All right, let's open it up. Let's turn on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Utopia universe. In the following video for Utopia e-bike assembly, you'll put it together and get to know your future favorite pal. Whoa, the app is awesome. So first of all, assembly guide, that's perfect. Then the smart bar history and navigation okay let's enjoy now let's create an account so and here we are enable gps it's enabled bluetooth is enabled as well okay let's enable it of course and now let's connect so please use our app to activate the bike let's go okay let's bind this bike bluetooth connected yes sir activate succeed nice okay so let's get right to it fingerprint recording start recording awesome sound effects <laughs> so and here we have the app we have my location we have the temperature the weather recent rides news user guide so we have the home button we have the we have the map oh my goodness this is so cool and we also have the ride report bluetooth unlock Whoa. Okay, so first of all, of course, let's upgrade the firmware. Wi-Fi connected. Oh my goodness, Wi-Fi? This is so epic. Okay, let's click on update, firmware upgrade. Whoa. Okay, so yeah, upgrading the firmware. Okay, waiting for the upgrade to finish. So let's turn it on. Press and hold. So we're done and it's online and now let's check out, okay, we already know the map and let's go through the settings. 
firmware upgrade has been completed. It's the latest version. So let's check out my device. And here we can also unbind it if you want to change the phone or something like that. We can also reset the password and we have the unit settings. Celsius is fine with me. And then we have all sorts of informations. We have the private policy. We have the terms. We have an FAQ and that's always awesome. So this is in German. It will automatically detect the language. We have an about section and we can also cancel the account. We can delete the account basically. So let's connect to it right on. So when we click on the bike, like on this pink bike right here, then we can access all the settings of the of the bike and of the, of the smart bar. When we click on firmware upgrade, it's of course the latest version. So that's all good. We can click on sound exchange. Then we can choose between this. Or this. <laughs> it's so cool. Then we can click, we can change the ringtone. This is the, the bell basically. And you can access the bell when you press on the button. All right, turbo on. Let me click. And jet. And the alarm. Then the volume level, we can mute it or level one. So level one is fine with me for now. We also have a vibration level. The steering bar will vibrate. and it will vi vibrate when you set a, a turn signal, for example. Then we have advanced settings. We have auto light and we can turn this off or on. We have game mode and we have brake light. So let's turn all of that on. Well, except the game mode, I guess. Then we can check the bike health. Okay, let's test it. So all good. And we can check the fingerprint connection, but we already did that, of course. And right here, we can also lock it and unlock it. Then we have notifications right here. And also we can turn on and off the light. Then here we have the ride report, but that's of course empty as well as the routes and the CO2 stats. And of course we can also check the battery right here and it's also on the smart bar. And when we set a, a route. Head southeast on Gartner Gas. Then turn right on Devices Kreuzstrasse. We have it integrated in the app, so we can just place the phone somewhere. Or actually, we don't even need to do it because it will actually show us where to go and it will show us where to turn. But we will check that out in the test, and this is just awesome. So let's cancel that. So the app looks amazing, and you can also browse the stories on the front page. And as I said, we have a very detailed user guide. Just amazing. I mean, look at that so many details and it's just perfect. So there is a lot to learn in this app. And yeah, all in all, it's great. And by the way, when you press the left and right button, then you will set the turn signal. When you press the up button or the actually the down button, you can, you can set the pedal assist. When you press up and hold, then you can turn on the boost. And when you press down once, you will deactivate it. <laughs> that is the best. Okay. And when you press down and hold down, then you will lock it and basically turn it off. And then to turn it on again, you will need to press this button with your thumb on it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, of course, when there is no weight on the bike, the assist will kick in really hard and of course, it will it will speed up a lot. And now let's try the boost. Whoa. <laughs> That is powerful, oh my goodness. So before we get to a test, I will of course charge it up all the way. And there are two things that I forgot to tell you. So first of all, there are different sizes. And as you can see down here, it says medium. So I have the size medium. Yeah, and secondly, how to charge it. There is a flap right here and you just plug it in right here. 
hook it up, of course. And there we go. So, so this LED will turn red and when it's green, we're done with the charging. And next up will be the test. So I will see you in a bit outside. So here we go, it is a beautiful day today. It's sunny, there is no wind. By the way, sorry for any wind noises. We're charged up all the way and I drove here without power, so it was turned off. So let me show you what that looks like. There are no gears, but even without power, it's manageable. No worries whatsoever. But now let's turn it on, press and hold. So first of all, let's test the pedal assist. So starting from zero, this is the same as no power. Okay, let's go to level one. All right. So almost 25 kph right there. Let's go to number two. So there we go. And with a little bit of power, you can cruise at 26. Yeah, and same for level three. But level three, oh yeah, this will kick in way better. And now, pressing up and holding up, rocket mode. Okay, so up to 27 with a bit of power. Let's try from zero. Okay, here we go. Let's try that again. <laughs> Literally from zero to hero. Yeah, this will be for sure my preferred riding mode. Turbo mode is perfect. It kicks in quite nicely, to be honest. It's not jerky, it's, a, it's smooth and powerful. I really like it. So I will definitely stay in this mode. Ah, it's such a beautiful day. Let's go. A few rounds around this lake. By the way, the steering bar is of course very light, but as you can see, free-handed riding is easy to control. It's more than possible, so that's perfect. Look at that, easy. Yeah, now, just for fun, let's try this hill climb. It's of course not an off-road bike. But that is not a problem whatsoever. So yeah, usually light bikes have no issues with off-roading or like grass grass and yeah it's looking amazing this thing is a beauty a freaking beauty and it is super light curl test clean curl with one hand this bag is right in the center of gravity it is crazy light <laughs> All right, I think it's time to test the brakes. And what better way to do this than with a wheelie? Of course, this is not recommended, don't try this at home. But for a wheelie, you will need good brakes that react to the smallest changes, basically. And I always like to do this for a test. Let's go. Since there are no gears, this will be interesting. Let's try it out. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, wheeling this thing is crazy. I used the turbo mode for this. It's really easy to get it off the off the ground in this mode. Without the pedal assist, it's it's really hard. And I mean like really hard, but in the rocket mode. <laughs> this is so dope. But sadly, I just have no way of properly mounting this camera. 
maybe I can put it in my pants like that. It's worth a try, I guess. Never mind, that's a bad idea. It's a really bad idea. <laughs> Brakes are really good and the turbo is awesome. Yes, okay, lastly for some free-handed riding action, let's get it. Yeah, super stable, this bike is awesome, all the way, absolutely amazing. Amazing day, amazing bike, and in a few days I will use this bike with the navigation features and drive a good 10 to 15 kilometers, so yeah, see you in a bit. You won't believe what just happened. Look at that, there is no light, right? The light is off. Now check this out. Driving into this dark area. <laughs> the light will turn on automatically. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Look at that. This is so cool. And the turn signals. Wow. This is so dope. <laughs> Love it. So, let's go. By the way, I'm 91%. So here we go, as you can see, after around 13 kilometers, I'm now at 60% charge. So that took me around 30%. Assuming the battery will drain in a linear fashion, this will give us around 40 kilometers of range. And by the way, the bike did all the work. I was just moving my legs, basically not investing power <laughs> whatsoever. But I forgot to turn on Bluetooth on my phone, so I was not connected to the smart bar. So for testing the smart bar, let's also, let's drive somewhere. Oh yeah, that's way better. Okay, check this out. So now with the smart bar, man, I forgot to turn on Bluetooth. How stupid. Oh my God, this is so amazing. The bike is doing all the work. This is so amazing. I love it. It's so cool. Okay, so only turn signals, no arrival notification on the smart bar. Alrighty. So many smart features, it is mind-blowing. The future is now. And of course, it will also receive regular OTA updates. It's like a Tesla. It has mini games, many, many connectivity options, awesome safety features, integrated navigation features, voice commands, and much more. Their website has detailed tutorials about everything basically, about the setup, about the features, how to use it. It's very well thought out. Love to see that. And the bike itself is just absolutely amazing. It looks awesome. It is so light. It's like a feather. The handling is great. And of course, the build quality, it's it's more than top notch. It is out of this world. It also features a belt, which I like a lot because it's easy to service, which basically means you don't have to service it at all <laughs> and it's also way cleaner than an oily chain also thanks to the weight to the lightweight you can carry it everywhere because even though it has a ton of safety features me personally i would not risk just leaving this awesome bike 
unattended in public places or spaces, especially for a longer period of time, there is just no way. But I think you get what I mean. So yeah, I'm absolutely in love with this bike. Definitely trippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing Take Magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.